Yo guys, welcome back to another episode of Subnautica, and obviously I love this game, so I'm playing it a lot. So anyways, uh, there's a few things that I want to do. Uh, oh my god, my thermal, this thing takes so much power from me. Holy. Uh, there's a couple things I want to do. I want to make the... The jump jet upgrade for my prawn suit. I, I have... Now the crystalline sulfur needed, so that's good. Nickel is not difficult. Titanium's uh, fairly easy, and then lithium is whatever. So I think I have all of that. So I just need to grab it. Um, can I can I access my prawn suit? All right, never mind. I'm just gonna. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yeah, if you didn't see last episode, uh, we explored the thermal plants. And I need to turn this music down, like, real, real quick. Because <laughs> that is loud. Okay. All systems online. Um, one, two, three, four, five. I need... Uh, I don't need kyanite, although I do have a lot of it. I feel like I got a good chunk of kyanite, so... Lithium and two nickel. Oh wow, I have two nickel, luckily. So now we can go ahead and make it before our energy runs out. And we go ahead, get the prawn suit, uh, jump jet upgrade. There we go. Hopefully this will help a lot because uh, we really needed it, to be honest. Did I ask to get in you? I don't think I did. Oh my god. Get back in there, Peter. I did not ask to get in you. Thank you very much. I wanted to... No, I do not want to... Ugh. Come on, man! Get... Fine, I will enter you. You little sack of crap. You piece of garbage. All right, there we go. All right, let's see how this thing works. Oh my God, that is so much better. You have no idea. That is glorious. All right, I wanted to uh, go back a little bit and, well, first of all, I, want, I need to get some food from my Cyclops because I need to eat. I'm just surprised, like, every material I could ever need is down here, which is kind of crazy. Because I thought coming down here, I'd be like, oh, uh, maybe I'd have to go back a couple times or two, um, just in case. But I haven't had to go back once, which is amazing. So, there we go. We got ourselves 100 food and uh, 100 water, so that's good. Um, I wanted to go back and check the river. Where am I going? Or go back and check the other area back here. Because I want to see if there's anything else down here that is of, like, importance. Because I know I went, like, straight here to build... To, to build the lava... Uh, the, th the base near the lava zone. And that's good and all, but I also want to, you know, make sure I'm not missing anything around here. Because I really do love this game, and I want, I want to explore as much of it as possible. And I think I might be rushing a little bit uh, too far uh, to the end of this game. Just because I want to play below zero, which, which is not the case. I don't want to rush this game, really. So, I'm going to go back. What is that? Skeletal remains. No, I didn't want to access upgrades. Oh, what is that, dog? Hell no! Nah. I'm out. More crystalline sulfur. I don't need it. What in the ras, man? I'm just getting attacked, and I don't like it. I ain't about that life. Oh god, what's down here? What is this? 
What are these things? Yeah, just some sort of rock, I guess. Hey, all right, what, what did I get? I got a... Okay, gargantuan fossil. The fossilized remains of the extinct super predator. Its sheer size would have prohibited it from entering such an, uh, an enclosed space, suggesting the ge geography of the planet has shifted around it over time. A true apex predator. Uh, data at approximately three million. Data at approximately three million years old. Rib cage measured measurements suggest the creature was eel-like in structure. Calculations suggest this is only the front third. What? The remains now support a vibrant micro uh, cosm cosm of life. Note, uh, there are series are a series of precise angular indentations on the rib cage, suggesting a third party has taken samples from the specimen at previous time. Oh, so they also took uh, notice to it. Let's go ahead and repair Peter up a little bit. Draining all my power. I'm still not done exploring, though. I, Oh my god, that thing's gnarly. I want to scan it so badly. Like, I want to scan it, but that's real scary, man. How's it going, dude? You're pretty gnarly. I kind of want to scan you, to be honest. Oh my god, you hear that sound? That is so cool. What are you? Bud. Oh, I can't move. Bro, I couldn't move. What was that? Mm. Oh my God. It, it's almost like an EMP. scan him though <laughs> god dang man I want to kill him so I can scan him I wonder if I can like grapple onto him and just keep drilling That'd be sick, dude. Plop him in the moon pool so he can recharge. Hopefully, I actually still have power in my base. Might be a bit rough. Ah, we're at 250. That's alright. I just finished making the first bit of water. Okay. So, blue tablets. To make the blue tablets, I need... I believe I need two kyanite and I think it said an ion cube. Two kyanite and an ion cube. Oh, okay, never mind. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Let's go ahead and make two blue tablets. Okay, blue tablet. And a blue tablet. Okay. Now, I could make a compass. Beacon and a beacon, and I should probably save before I go just in case because it's going to be a long journey that could result in my death. So, don't really want to take any chances, but we have our blue tablets. Like, what else do we need? Like, I don't think we need anything else. What else do we need down there? I don't think anything. I think that's all we need. Activate Cyclops fire suppression system. No. Do we want to go down? Uh, what's the depth for this thing? 1300. That's able to go down to the lava zone. Or the inactive, I guess. If that's what you want to call it. Is there an inactive and an active? 
And then we need to go down even further than that. Coming a bit close there, bud. Jeez Louise. Alright. And then, obviously, I have the ion cubes in Peter. I don't know why I have some magnetite on me, to be honest, but we'll take it. Throw it in there. Alright, I guess we can go. At least get to the place this episode. I don't know about fully exploring it in this episode, but... We're going. I'm nervous. I'm scared. Hell no, nah, brother. I hear you. And I don't want anything to do with you. Oh my god. I heard it. It was right behind me. It says south southeast. Which I guess makes enough sense. Should I have brought Kainai with me? I feel like I don't need it. I, d I did. I know, I know I'm going to get it. Okay, I did bring the blue tablets. Okay. And I do have a purple, an extra purple tablet just in case. I, I don't know why I would need more purple tablets when they gave us a uh, blueprint for blue ones, though. Maybe I'm wrong in that assumption, but if I am, I will gladly hurt myself a little bit. Because <laughs> I'd feel like an idiot. But I just assumed because they gave us the blue tablet blueprint, they wanted us to make those instead for the next facility. Maybe that is a wrong assumption, but I will take it. Hopefully... Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw down a beacon, like, right at the beginning of the lava zone here. Just so I have, like, an easier time finding my way back. Thought I heard a war warper. Yep, there is a warper there. Okay, not what I meant to do. Can I just throw down a beacon in here? Uh, lava zone entrance. I feel like I could have missed some kind of thermal suit that I could get. I feel like I might have. Okay, he's not very friendly, I guess. It says it's at uh, 1.4, so... I hear warpers. I feel like it would be on the outside here, so... I mean, we're kind of going in the direction of south-southeast from the... the... Oh my god, hello! Hi! Woo! You sack of crap! You're a bully. You're a bully. You're literally a bully. You're actually just a bully. Oh. Am I going down here? What is this place? Is this where I need to go? This looks really deep. Am I going in here? I don't know where I'm going. This might not even be the right direction. But we're getting down to the 1.4. Oh, this might be the right direction. Oh my lord. What is this area? Hello. What do you want? I am what you seek. Want to help you. Okay, that's kind of a good sign. 
Wow, this is really... When they talked about active and inactive lava zone, this is definitely active. Oh, Lord. I feel like I'd die in a heartbeat if I went out. I'm gonna pop a med kit. I don't know why I called it a... Yeah, it's called a med kit in this game as well. Oh my god, he sounds so scary. Can I just chill? Oh my god. Really? Can we just chill here for like one second? Let me just, uh... Let me just clean my pants. I, th I think I, uh... Pooped a little bit. Oh my god. Obviously, I'm not gonna save yet. There's no point in doing that. I'm not in the facility. Okay, there's nothing over this way. We have to go actually into this place over here. So, I'll take it as I'm going in the correct direction. It's just kind of, like, really scary. And I can hear him. I can hear... What they call him? The sea dragon? <gasps> Look at him! He is magnificent! It's, there it is. Should I just... I'm ballsy. I'm ballsy. I'm doing it. I'm just doing it. Hey, what's up, dude? How's it going? Nice to see you around. Woo! How are you doing? Get me in here. I don't want none of it. Oh, oh. Please tell me this is a blue tablet. Yes! Oh wait. Oh my god, I almost I almost crapped myself for a second there because I thought I didn't have it in my inventory. Oh. Oh. And my frames are dying. There we go. My frames just got better. My heart. That guy, he's insane, man. Oh. Hello. What a nice welcome party. Translating local alien broadcast. Warning, vaccine development program terminated. Emperor A, fetching project terminated. Life specimens terminated. Evacuate immediately. Oh. Oh lord, that was weird. Look at all the crazy stuff around here. Oh, we got these guys again. Can I can I attack him? Die. I don't like you. Oh my god. Crescent artifact. This is so cool. I love it. The con this construct is emitting a high bandwidth signal uh, consistent with alien transmission. Uh, transmissions intercepted elsewhere. DNA on the exterior indicates it was once implanted inside one of the life forms indigenous to 4546B. Its size suggesting uh, the subject was a Leviathan class organism. Beyond tracking and broadcasting its location, the implant may also have recorded biological data on the subject. However, this data cannot be retrieved. Uh, an alien object. So th they were tracking and getting biological data from different leviathan creatures alien building block oh i need to breathe for a sec this rock uh like object features organic as well as mechanical parts and there is some genetic and technological crossover with the design of the self-warping constructs encountered elsewhere it appears to serve no purpose in its current state and is awaiting some kind of act activation sequence uh materials such as this may be may have been a fundamental building block of the alien technology or even of the aliens themselves yeah because we still don't know like what the people who built all this stuff even look like they might look just like us or they could uh look completely different organic matter particulator 
Uh, this device contains a highly unstable radioactive isotope likely to destroy all organisms exposed to it while leaving physical structures intact. Although it would, function, uh, it would function perfectly well as a weapon, it was more likely used to sterilize spaces for later inhabita uh, inhabitation. Without instructions, it would be unwise to interact with it. Let me just go ahead. I'm going to drink some water really quick. Yeah, I, I am what you seek. Want to help you. An empty case. Can we actually, like, make an empty case? Is this a blueprint? Nanobots. Scan show some form of advanced nanobot inside this seemingly empty case. These bots are substantially smaller than any develop developed within the Federation, and it is not possible to ascertain their exact function. It would, however, be unwise to release them. Okay, fair enough. What is this? Translation device. This device stores linguistic data from over 1,000 different languages. The core of the device may allow alien text to be read and translated. Analysis of the onboard data reveals a number of ancient Earth languages, and the term CHBC Live appears many times in the device's data. It is, uh, its import is unclear. The device seems to be configured to translate into the designer's language. It will not work the other way around. So, it only works to understand what it is as opposed to look up like other languages i think is what it, that means i could just be dumb though it could totally just be dumb let's go over to the other side there's a lot more stuff here ancient blade this is so cool an ancient earth blade dating back to the 13th century. Blood samples on the blade match the DNA of seven separate heads of state from the period. This evidence supports the theory that the aliens are an ancient space-born civilization engaged in the superstitious study of less developed species. Oh, he's back there. All right. Strange carving. It's like a yin and yang. Alien carving. This carving is hundreds of thousands of years old and made from an unrecognized natural fiber grown on an unknown planet. It bears striking resemblance to the odd Earth yin-yang symbol. Two competing theories may explain the similarity. Aliens visited Earth prior to the 4th century BC and influenced the development of ancient Chinese philosophy. Uh, two, the concept of yin and yang is universal, since yin and yang describes the fundamental interdependency of seemingly opposite forces. It may be necessary... Uh, it may be a necessary existential understanding in some form in all sufficiently developed civilizations the tapering of two circles union into opposing in uh, infin um, oh my god can't speak infant uh, yeah, 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 yeah is one logical way to represent the understanding it may have been developed independently I can't pronounce that word for some reason by a species other than humans alien statue uh, this artifact is underpowered suggesting it served as a ceremonial rather than practical purpose, the pyramid re resembles vines spiraling upwards toward the warm blue stone mounted above. Uh, it may represent a plant found on the alien's home world, a building of religious import, or even the gravitational pull of their home solar system. Oh man, this is really cool. Circular object, what is this? Holographic projector. This device contains network apparatus and a holographic projection unit. It was likely used as a co uh, as a communications will relay, capturing and projecting the image of the user to a remote location. There do not appear to be any other devices in range. Rudimentary tablet. Uh, this device shares many similarities with the tablets used to access the alien facilities. Although its structure is rather less complex, it may have served a similar purpose granting security access and storing relevant data, and thus was kept here as a form of legacy support. All right. Um, okay. Uh, let's check out some of these areas here. We won't go to the main holographic area just yet, but I want to check out some of these areas here. See what it's, uh, this is all about. Can you not, please? Thank you. Huh. Insert. I don't have iron cubes on me. Lol. That's awkward. Uh, 
Oh! It's the gates. There was one in the thermal plant, right? And that, that was the one that took you back to the... Island. Do you mind? Okay. Uh, we won't see what that is just yet, but let me go back. Might be good that I got uh, brought a, an extra beacon. Because we could go back, maybe. Depending on where it plops us out. Uh, is this going to be the... Okay, this is completely different. Ventilation control. Ventilation control. Uh, water flowing to and from the primary containment facility is being automatically controlled independently of other safeguards. Data on the water composition has been recorded. Inflow. Water is being drawn from different biomes around the surface of the planet. The water temperature is considerably lower than the, the volcanic environment outside the facility, while microorganisms and nutrient counts are substantially higher. Outflow. Oxygen-deprived water is being flooded from the system and recycled back to the surface. Oh my god, this place is crazy looking. Inflow pipe. There's so much story here. And so much information. Peepers entering the containment facility. The pipes drawing water into the containment facility are filled with peepers arriving from the surface. Uh, the fish show no signs of distress. The specimens uh, scan have all consumed high quantities of seeds and organic matter from the surface. Some spe uh, specimens are beginning to show signs of infection. Outflow pipe. Enzyme enzyme host peepers leaving the containment containment facility. The outflow pipes are filled with peepers traveling back towards the surface. Specimens show no signs of of uh, no symptoms of infection. All specimens scanned are carrying enzyme forty two, which data suggests in inhibits the bacterium. Specimens uh, stomach cavities and otherwise are otherwise empty, suggesting that may have been purged the contents before entering the pipes. Uh, assessment if peepers have evolved to distribute the enzyme via the pipe network this may explain part of the mechanism by which life on 4546b has survived since the bacterial outbreak oh so peepers are like so what the peepers with the enzyme 42 go out other peepers eat the peepers and they get enzyme 42 from the peepers is that what that means I think that's what that means. Oh, can we actually jump off this? It looks like it. That is so interesting. Uh, I mean, it's kind of just like a big case of nothing. Just seeing if there's anything else I can scan here. It doesn't look like it, though. Okay, we scan any of you. I don't think so. Why did you just stand up like that? That was weird. All right. Let us. Let's go down here. I want to see what's down here. So this is below the pipes. My frame is dying in this place, I swear. This is like another angle to see it from. Huh? Well, they're obviously pumping down into there. But, like... Huh? Oh, there's one of those guys in there. Oh, that's creepy. Okay, so there's nothing really down here, then. So we can go back. So, man, this is getting crazy. So they're trying to find the cure to um, Car uh, Kara, I think that's what they called it, and they're thinking enzyme 42 is what does it is what can cure it because they've tested it on peepers and stuff that so showed signs of infection and with enzyme 42 uh it's gone 
but they're not sure how to actually get Enzyme 42 themselves. And they're using the Sea Emperor, which is what I, we found out in the research facility, facility. They're using the Sea Emperor to make or to produce... The Sea Emperor produces the Enzyme 42, right? So they're, they're trying to figure out how that happens, how they can use the Sea Emperor's Enzyme 42 in order to cure themselves of the, of the infection or Kara or whatever you want to call it. God, this is so interesting. I love it. Boop. There we go. I'll have to check where those uh, go uh, later, but for now, I'm not going to bother. I didn't realize there was like a little data thing there. Oh, I didn't check the other areas. Hold on. What is over here? Wait, what? This is the pipe area. Frames, please stop dying. I'd love you if you just stopped. Oh my lord. Okay, we've already been in here. I think we explored every place then. Unless I'm just dumb. And I didn't explore these areas? I think I did though. I think I did. Yeah, okay, so I explored all the areas. Okay, let's go back to that data terminal there. That was there. Let's grab you. Enzyme 42 project data. According to translated data logs, an indigenous leviathan species was found to produce a unique substance referred to as Enzyme 42. Uh, which inhibited the symptoms of the Kara bacterial infection uh, in other indigenous organisms. The spe uh, specimen was captured and contained in a proposed built, uh, purpose-built habitat for further study. The alien researchers went to great lengths to provide for the life form's environmental needs, including the import of independent flora, fauna, uh, via an on-site warp gate. However, its health quickly deteriorate, deteriorated when quarantine was imposed all warp Gates and force fields were sealed. All attempts to develop the enzyme into a vaccination have been unsuccessful. Wow, okay. So all the warp gates uh, lead to uh, environmental needs of the of the sea emperor then. Oh. Preserve fetus. Sea Emperor Fetus. Uh, so they, it kind of looks like the sea dragon a little bit. Just a little less uh, gnarly looking. Or dragon looking, so to speak. Found preserved in the display case. It was likely a child of the adult specimen contained within the facility. Superficial damage to the specimen indicates it was artificially removed from its egg casing. Stunted tissue development suggests... Uh, the organism expired during the removal process. Tissue samples have been taken from the digestive tract uh, analysis. It appears the aliens were attempting to formulate a cure for the bacterium from enzymes produced in the specimen's digestive system. Without a young, healthy specimen, these efforts were in vain. So, they tried to use a dead embryo. The dead embryo is enzyme 42. Wow. But that's not possible, it would seem. And so what they were doing was just kind of pointless. Preserved egg casing. 
Uh, shell composition. The shell ca uh, casing is formed from thick layers of carbon composite, suggesting an extensive uh, gestation period. The lithan species uh, may give birth just once per century, perhaps just once in their lifetimes. Shell casing uh, incisions. Uh, precise incisions suggest a laser-based tool was used to cut open the egg casing and forcibly remove the fetus inside prior to full gestation. Analysis. Time pressure to develop a bacterial vaccine may have driven the alien's research to cut open the egg and remove the fetus for study. It is also possible that rem uh, removed from its uh, parent and natural habitat, some vital conditions for the infant to hatch naturally was not met. So they, they tried desperately to find a cure via the sea emperor for um, to cure them and they were just they were going too fast because they were on a time crunch and they didn't have like they were going to die soon I guess and uh, they had no other choice but to just like try and rush it alright here we go what do we need to open you blue tablet but i'm gonna do that in the next episode i apologize but this video is getting real long so uh with that being said i'll see you guys all in the next uh video of subnautica and peace out guys bye bye